Hello and welcome to Chindu.org. In this video, let's understand how you can model some of the day-to-day -day problems that we face, uh, some of the decisions, and use Excel to get the answer that you need. Uh, for example, recently I had to switch uh, our energy provider uh, because we were moving to a new, new house. And uh, uh, in the existing house where we were living, uh, we have only electric electricity all the cooking and heating is also through electricity whereas in the new house uh, we will have uh, both electric electricity and gas so I figured it might be easier if I switch to a new provider because then I might be able to eligible uh, get some either a welcome credit or some bonus or something else so I started looking online to see what else is available and uh, one of the companies uh, which I approached had two plans uh, one of them is called as quick switch where they are offering uh, in in new zealand the, the way things work is for for energy providers they will charge you a daily ch daily charge irrespective of how much you consume every day you will pay a fixed fee plus uh, depending on the consumption you will pay some variable charge so i'll briefly explain what it is here it is uh, 33 cents per day for electricity uh, and 26 cents per kilowatt hour the unit of electricity consumption and for gas they were charging uh, 140 cents per day plus 6 cents per kilowatt hour I have really no idea how they measure of gas and kilowatt hours but that's what they said um, and they also have another offer which is 200 credit where they would give me a credit of $200 uh, I could take that as either $200 New Zealand dollars or equivalent amount in airline miles and uh, the rates are similar 33 cents uh, and 29 cents per kilowatt hour so there is about 3 cents difference here and uh, per day for gas is again same but 2 cents extra for uh, kilowatt hour so the consumption depending on how much we consume it would vary I also have the choice of keeping the existing provider I could just tell them to switch the power the electricity part and go and sign up for uh, an independent provider to just give us the gas so these these three four different options were there and I started thinking you know whether the $200 credit option is uh, is really attractive or not I mean it looked attractive because I would get uh, $200 worth of airline miles immediately but uh, I have no plans to use them anyway but I thought uh, you know this is a good problem to model in Excel and, and get a quick idea of which plan is better and along the way we could probably pick up some interesting techniques and and uh, you could use them for some other problems. So I have uh, here a, a spreadsheet. Uh, this is what we do, right? Uh, for any problem, whether it's a real life problem or a business problem, we set up a spreadsheet. Uh, so I've entered the same details here the numbers might slightly vary because I have got more precision here than on PowerPoint um, and the plans are outlined on the top uh, so this is the two options that I was evaluating the other options are keeping my current electricity provider and and signing up with a new provider for the gas um, the liquid LPG gas uh, and those are two options so everything is in cents so you have these daily charges and and the per unit charges there when you when you get both your electricity and gas from the same company you you also get a dual fuel discount which is per day 15 cents discount that is applied on top of your bill so you get to save a little more if you choose to buy both of your electricity and gas from same same company this is again another tactic they use to uh, kind of get customers to go for both options with one provider it might be also easier because then you don't have to deal with two companies when you're paying your bills or uh, setting up direct debits or whatever uh, so I have put everything as per the offer into the spreadsheet and now let's go ahead and see which one works best now in order for me to be eligible for the $200 credit thing I need to sign a, a contract with them that is valid for two years so if if I if for some reason if I choose to break the contract in between the two two years then I would have to pay a breakaway fee so I wanted to calculate how much would the total bill be uh, in in each of those options for for the two-year duration assuming I stay with 
any one of those plans for two years how much is is it that I'm going to pay and um, if 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 this option is ideally um, at least uh, you know let, let's say this option works out to be fifteen thousand dollars or or two year period I don't know how much it is going to be uh, and if this this option is fourteen thousand dollars then I'm better off going for this option because uh, although um, I get two hundred dollar credit I, I, I get to save thousand dollars so it's this is eight hundred dollars better off so that's what I was trying to calculate I was trying to find out how much the total consumption would be how much total payout would be for each of those plans uh, over a two-year window but the, the, the trickiest part is my consumption is not going to stay the same every month right every month I might be using different amount of electricity and gas so I had to go with some sort of an average and then model this with some scenarios uh, and then see which one works best so what we will do is we will set up a consumption uh, scenario list here um, let's say um, uh, we, we want to have a, a monthly consumption of both electricity and, and gas in number of kilowatt hours and then based on that we will find out what would be the total cost for each of those four options over two year window all right so in my consumption um, this is electricity and that's gas and uh, in 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 the f because I I have never used gas in New Zealand I have really no idea how much we are going to consume but we have been using electricity for the last one year so I kind of know what our average consumption looks like it is um, about 500 units per month okay so let me just uh, make these two columns same width so we kind of see everything there and um, that's that's the default scenario 500 but we could vary this by a little bit here and there 550 and 600 or if in the new house we go really bonkers because it might be a, a slightly bigger house maybe 800 units per month okay um, and then because I have no idea how much gas we are going to consume and it it seems in the new house we have both heating cooking and uh, water heating everything is provided through the gas so I'm guessing it might be quite a bit high uh, based on my estimated understanding this could be anywhere from uh, 600 to 1200 units so let's go with the highest number first and then uh, so this is one scenario then what I will do is I'll copy this over and paste and um, and reduce this by 200 um, and uh, we could go ahead and paste this and uh, model for slightly higher consumption so basically three sets of scenarios in which uh, both gas and electricity vary and in each of those scenarios I want to see which plan works out best how much the total would be uh, now we will calculate the total for one one of these and then when you copy it down the formulas it will so there are two components of consumption here electricity and gas uh, in order to know how much you would pay for 500 units of electricity consumption uh, in a month uh, there are again two components of the bill you have your daily charge and then you have your per unit charge so the daily charge would be for the 30 days it will be 30 times uh, daily charge of that in the daily charge of this and per day discount whatever that is so this is my fixed charge even if I consume zero units I'm going to pay that much um, that's in cents so we will divide this with 100 and you will get the answer so I'll pay at least $47.50 uh, even if I don't consume anything in that month so this is my fixed charge every month for that plan uh, and then now we will have to bring in the variable component right which is um, this times that plus this times that okay so we will get that uh, and I'll I will divide the whole thing with 100 and 
so it looks like we will pay about 248 dollars uh, on monthly basis this is average because in a, in a typical year what happens is in winter months we will consume more but in in summer months we will consume less but that's for one month and we want to do this for 24 months so i'll multiply this with 24 and we're looking at about six thousand dollars worth of bill payments in this plan now before we we drag this formula and calculate what would be the value for other things we want to make sure that this formula works good anywhere you put it so we will kind of lock these references the daily charges will always be in in the respective rows the column might change right it will become e f g h so this portion we will select and i'll press f4 key uh, if you press it a couple of times you will get the reference style like that mix it style with the d dollar six indicating that it will always look in row number six uh, and wherever you move the formula that's where it is and then this this one is going to be d dollar seven whereas that's going to be dollar b16 so it will always look in column b same for this d dollar ten c60 so this is our formula once we fix that uh, I'm going to quickly apply currency formatting to this and then copy and paste it all over this place right and then we will fill it down so we'll get the for each of those scenarios we will get our uh, energy um, total bill and at this stage you could quickly stop and look at the columns and then quickly decide uh, but because this is a video lesson uh, and we are using Excel and you want to learn how to use Excel better uh, let me show you a very quick trick to understand which plan is better in each of those scenarios so I'll select this entire range go to conditional formatting new rule and what we want is we want to highlight the minimum amount in each row right so I'll use a formula select this cell what we want is the reference style to be in that format so I'll use the F4 key a few times to change it quickly and uh, we want that cell so wherever the formula is evaluating it will look at that cell uh, is it minimum of the row right minimum of the row so I'll select the entire row and this row reference I will change to that format dollar $D16 to dollar $G16 that means it will always look from columns D through G uh, but the row number keeps changing depending on where it is looking so if is, is my current value minimum of that row in that case uh, fill it up with uh, green color right and and bang instantly you can see that irrespective of what my usage looks like I'm better off going with that option right that's the minimum right of course what we could do is in this model we haven't uh, factored in the welcome credit that you would receive so we could go ahead and add that welcome credit right and the welcome credit is 200 since everything is in cents I'll make this as well cents so you'll get 20,000 cents welcome credit and then we will model this one as well um, so this is my total amount 24 times that divided maybe I think it's better off we just list it as 200 okay uh, minus welcome credit and that will be in row number 12 so and then we will just uh, sorry I copy this and I'll want to just paste the formulas so we will get the welcome credit aspect taken out so this would be um, it, it was earlier 6900 but now it is 6700 even with welcome credit factored in my my option of using the current provider for electricity and and getting a brand new provider for gas uh, seems to be the cheapest so this is what happens even in even when you're making business decisions right sometimes you might get fooled by these offers and things like that where you might see that there would be a welcome credit or, or some special sign-on bonus or something else but those might work out to be quite costly in the long run so you want to uh, 
uh, when making decisions uh, do a bit of modeling I mean you don't need to do a, go all the way overkill and and set it up with form controls and and two-way data tables and things like that uh, but at least set it up uh, in in a quick uh, quick and simple way or at least do some back of the napkin calculations so that you can uh, see what is what for real and and then make a bit better decision uh, so here I, I could quickly see that with with that option it was six thousand seven hundred dollars and this is so I, I, I am paying almost thousand dollars extra uh, if I have gone with the welcome credit you know I could use that thousand dollars and and buy so many more airline miles or or use that money for something else so that's what it is I hope you found this in interesting you know go to the description of the video where you can download a copy of this which provider workbook and and plug your your country your values in and play with this or add few more things to the calculation engine so that you could make it even more complicated if you prefer uh, thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this and uh, talk to you soon bye bye